Now this world shall know pain. Naruto, hurry! Naruto! Oh, my God! 
Now this world shall know pain. Almighty push!
are oh. messing with each other, I guess. <laughs> Wait, how many lives do I have? Boop. Good job, good job. All right, now we got this. This is the time. Okay, watch out for... We get this. Sonic the Hedgehog first raced across television screens back in 1991. Since then, he's become a gaming phenomenon, and for a time was contested to be more popular than Mario with his own Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon. Over 25 years later, Sonic releases still cause headlines, Sanic has become an internet cultural icon, and the Blue Hedgehog is still regarded as one of gaming's most iconic figures. But who actually created Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, the answer may be a little more complicated than you think, which is why I wanted to look into it. Yuji Naka is often considered the father of Sonic, but is that true? With the misconception that Keiji Inufune created Mega Man, I wanted to take a look at the classic figure of Sonic and see what I could dig up. What's up guys, I'm Dave Klein, and today we're going to take a look into who created Sonic the Hedgehog. Back in the late 1980s and early 1990s, Nintendo dominated the video game market. 
Nobody could hold a candle to the sales numbers Nintendo was hitting, and this was in part thanks to Nintendo's iconic mascot, Mario. Super Mario Bros. was such a huge hit, not only was it Nintendo's largest console seller, but Super Mario Bros. 3, released in 1990, sold 17 million copies alone. In 1985, Sega released the Sega Mark III, which would eventually become known as the Sega Master System. After witnessing the massive success of Mario, Sega tasked its team with creating a Sega mascot in response to Mario. This response came in the form of Alex Kidd, created by Kotaro Hayashida. While Alex Kidd went on to become a critically acclaimed game for the Mark III, it never became the true console seller that Sega was hoping for. Although the Sega Master System did well in Europe and Brazil, it couldn't even come close to the sales volume of the Nintendo Entertainment System in both America and Japan. In 1988, Sega released a new system, the Sega Mega Drive, or Sega Genesis to Japan. This new console was the first of the 16-bit era, and once again, Sega decided decided it needed a mascot to rival Mario. While Alex Kidd was considered the Sega mascot, he wasn't selling as well as Sega was hoping, and a new mascot was deemed necessary. And this is where things get a little murky. In an interview for Sega Mega Drive slash Genesis Collective Works, Kotaro Hayashida, the creator of Alex Kidd, was asked, quote, Were you disappointed that Alex Kidd did not last into the post-Sonic era? To which he responded, The idea to create Sonic was also mine. It is my understanding that a lot of the ideas for Sonic to create nineteen seventy four Osaka Japan a child named Yuji Naka is enthralled in fact obsessed with speed meanwhile a young Naoto Oshima is captivated by every move every image of the Western superhero the two will one day join fascinations to change the world of video games, armed only with a blue and silver. Nineteen seventy-four, Osaka, Japan. A child named Yuji Naka is enthralled, in fact, obsessed with speed. Meanwhile, a young Naoto Oshima is captivated by every move, every image of the Western superhero with speed. Meanwhile, a young Naoto Oshima is captivated by every move, every Meanwhile, a young Naoto Oshima is captivated by every move, every In fact, obsessed with speed. Meanwhile, a young Naoto Oshima is captivated by every move, every... 1974, Osaka, Japan. A child named Yuji Naka is enthralled, in fact, obsessed with speed. Meanwhile, a young Naoto Oshima is captivated by every move, every image of the Western superhero. The two will one day join fascinations to change the world of video games, armed only with a blue insectivore in red shoes. This is the story of Sonic the Hedgehog. Nineteen eighty-eight. For three years now, the mission of pretty much every game console maker in the world has been the same. Defeat Nintendo. Nobody can even come close. What will the future bring from Nintendo? The 8-bit Nintendo Entertainment System dominates the world market with a 90% share. Sega tries to topple the 800-pound gorilla by releasing a 16-bit console called Mega Drive in Japan and Europe and Genesis in the US. Despite a blistering fast microprocessor and some edgy commercials, Sega! there's just no shaking Nintendo stranglehold. Sega! In the U.S., one household out of every four buys...